Howdy everybody, this is Trevor Truck ASMR, and this is, this is episode number two of Firewatch, game that has certainly been very interesting, and the first time around, I didn't have subtitles on. And while I do think perhaps that Google, uh, YouTube can tackle the auto subtitles, uh, at the same time, I also kind of think that it's better if the game shows us the subtitles instead. Also, that's a beautiful view right there. Very beautiful. I must admit, though, I don't quite... I don't quite remember what I was up to or what I was supposed to do. I wonder if I can... No. I can't call her right now. I guess, I guess I must have left this open from before. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt puffed with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. These two have such a great relationship right now. I would say that their friendship is moving along quite well. Take a look at the map. Okay, so that's where I'm at. There is a place called the Medicine Wheel. And... Okay, so there's, there's a couple different places to explore. There's also that cave that we can't get into. And I think we need a key to get into it, but... Survey communication lines north of the canyon. So that is going to be... That's going to be our mission for right now. So we're going to have to head... We're going to have to head north to get to those lines. So I will uh, take a look at the map in a little bit here. But uh, for right now... As I'm walking through this place, why don't we get some mic scratches in? Just like that. There we go. Try to get on the other side. Okay. Try not to injure myself as I climb this place. So we got an old baseball. Just throw it into the air. I guess I could have saved it as a weapon. In case a bear attacks. But yeah, we're just gonna drop down this rock face for the time being. And again, let's consult the map real quick. Um, we are so far on the right track. So we're gonna climb down this rock face and head into the canyon. And uh, we're just going to take our time. We're not going to rush this. This game... It's not meant to be rushed. It's meant to be enjoyed. Let's take this jump. And we're just going to be careful that we don't trip as we walk down this area. I might just kind of like the sounds nature through here. Now there is something that I can say to my friend, but I don't know don't know what that was. 
but I think what I'm going to have to do is somehow... See, I can't really climb up there, can I? Hmm. That makes me wonder. That makes me wonder if I've even... Oh, uh, well, no. I guess I'm on the right track then. I'm just going to go this way then. Got a little bit of uh, fog, which looks kind of cool here. Let's report it, though. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, let's talk about the dog. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. I'm just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Wait. Okay, good. Who's she talking to? Uh, hey, your button is still down. I'm absolutely sure. Delilah, I can hear you. Would you? I said I could. Wait, right. Are you talking about I'll me? Let you know if anything changes in that regard. Who are you talking to? Oh. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You um. You that. Owned him with someone? That makes me really suspicious, guys. Who was that? I want to know what's going on. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button. Oh no, or Julia. Wait, that call was work. I was just talking. I'm to... sorry, Delilah. Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Okay, but I think I'm a little bit justified because, well, because. Wouldn't you feel kind of like, wouldn't you feel uncomfortable if you heard someone talking about you behind your back? Also, I'm totally going the wrong way. Just when I thought my navigation skills so I were better. So I out of the cave and I'm passing through Thunder Canyon now. I'm not seeing any wires in here. Oh, no, 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 no. It sounds like you turn east towards Jonesy Lake. Yeah, I went the wrong from way. from the cave, you just want Dang to come it. out and go straight to the north. Got it. Okay, so I'm bad at navigation, but I don't know that I like Julia's attitude. No, I keep calling her Julia. Um, Delilah's attitude about this because she's keeping a secret from me. I know it, and it's very, very suspicious. But I do see ahead I do see these power lines and I just want to double check that we're heading into the right direction I think if we just kind of like if we just follow this trail beautiful morning beautiful Honestly, this is a place, it's a little scary being out here on your own, but, but at the same time, um, uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. Well, follow yeah. it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Does anyone else get the sense that whatever setup they have is just really weird? I feel like there should be a better way to communicate. Also, if you don't hear from someone for a couple days, it might be too late by then. That's kind of a bizarre way of one about it, but so we have Beartooth Point and the Thoroughfare Fire Lookout. That's actually, I think that's where Delilah is. 
I don't think that you can actually go there, though. I don't think that you can actually visit her, but, um, I would like to, honestly, have a little conversation, share some tea, spill some tea, for that matter. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. Okay, that's suspect. I'm not really trusting Delilah. Oh, there's a cash box. So let's let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, that was weird. I think that was a glitch. I'm not sure why it propelled me backwards. It did it again. Have I stumbled on a glitch or something? Maybe I'm not supposed to mess with this yet. That is so strange. When I played this game the first time around, I don't remember that happening. Okay. Okay. Somebody tell me. What exactly happened here in this place? There's got to be some evidence that something... Look at this. A destroyed guitar. Burned bed. This place has seen some better days. Is there anything in the stove? No, I guess not. And that's a poster, kind of like the one in my room. I'm sorry about my voice. If you notice, there's a difference. I have a... I have a stuffy nose. It's... it's... Well, it's the allergies. There's old cigarettes. Um... That's very strange. And Delilah... is not very forthcoming... in... information. But it's very suspicious. It's kind of weird because now that I'm not sure how much I can trust her, uh, that makes me a little bit frightened. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once. I think. Whoa. Uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, I'm in the right area. I do believe. Hawks uh, rest. The wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. It's easy for you to say, Delilah. You're you're safe in your watchtower, probably reading a a great American novel, and here I am, out in the field. You've been doing this for a longer time than I have. And yet here I am doing so much of the work. So I'm assuming we're just going to follow this uh, line to the very top. We'll get to the bottom of this. We'll get to the bottom of what's going on here. I hope you all are actually enjoying... Not just the ASMR, but also the game itself. Because I think this is um, one of the greater games that Steam has. It's not perfect. It has its flaws, but at the same time, there's something just kind of relaxing about walking around. And... Uh, just enjoying nature you know in many ways this game does remind me of another game I played here called the long dark okay so I actually did go a little bit off the path so that's something that you don't want to see whoops uh, yeah okay the wires down here yeah really? it's down awesome. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just yep. follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. Get I'll a sip of coffee damage. real quick. Mm. You can kind of see it. 
It's not good. That's not what you want. So we have zero communication right now with the outside world. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I, I feel uncomfortable for sure. There's the cash box. I'm actually curious to see what's inside. The other one we couldn't get to. This one we can. So let's... One, two, three, four. Open. Okay, let's copy this information on the map. And I would like to see, actually, before we get further into this, okay, we created even more. There is a supply drop, which is kind of awesome to know, and the path seems to just go on. And there's a little bit more details to Mule Point and Two Forks Lookout. Okay. So this is a board. Can't really talk to her about that. What would I say anyway? Six feet down under. Now, I don't know if these are real titles, but um, if they are, it might be worth reading. Pinecone, of course, we always have a lot of those. Not sure why they put it in the supply uh, box. I think after that, there's really not much more to see. There is a note, and we are going to read this note. So let's read this together. Dave, hey -o, I got your note about needing to talk. Sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know, amigos, professionales. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later, Ron. So, how do I go about the inspection? Oh, now this, this actually could be helpful. It's, it's a beer can. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Well, I'll clean it up, not to worry. It, it, it actually really is a bad thing to just... Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Oh, I wonder. Maybe it's those darn teenagers from the lake from before. Could be. You know, kids, they have nothing better to do than to mess with very critical communications infrastructure. I remember when I was a teenager, I, I was cutting power lines left and right. And then finally I, I woke up and I realized, oh wait, let's get, let's get rid of this. Red Eagle. It's actually not a bad Brandon, honestly. Oh, okay. So now we're getting somewhere. Um... It's funny how there are certain rocks that, no matter what, I'm just not able to climb over. Okay, so I think this is as close as I can get. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Here we go. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. Exactly. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. 
What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> just doing some scratches. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. They're big into red evil. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Okay. So, uh... Looks like we're gonna have to do some backtracking, honestly. And gonna have to find the teens and uh you know bring them to justice you can't just first of all i don't know how they managed to cut the the wire without severe injury that's very hairless and dangerous I don't know how they how they did that without actually like hurted themselves in the process that just seems really stupid even even for I know even for teens uh, I know that teens don't make the best decisions they do stupid things but um, even that, I, I feel like just it's just Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back. Basic up. knowledge. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. Well, I mean, I, I don't mm. I'm kind of stuck though that's the point that I'm making Delilah I'm stuck I can't get back on the path wait maybe I can so let's just say I head east perhaps which would be kind of like this way but I can't get back up there that's the problem that's the problem. Is there any other way to go? Okay, guys. I figured it out. I think. Like I said, navigation is not my strong point in this game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the beer cans. This should be my best clue of where those, those juvenile delinquents are. Let's drop down. Yeah, okay. Look at that. Got some more. I hope I get some type of achievement for picking all these up, honestly. Okay. Um, alright. Continuing on our way. I don't know. I've never... The thing I don't understand about Lutheran is I, I've never had the desire to do that, you know? Like, from a very early age, I was always told, pick up after yourself. Clean your own messes. Oh, I want to report this. Um, I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm -hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Yep. Yep. Uh. Well. It's very nice to be out here in nature. The only technology is just primitive radio waves. Now let's drop down here. 
Ooh, man, that was a fall. I gotta tell you, all this climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. It is. It is. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day. Hey now, hey now. That's not... I, I don't appreciate that at all. Am I on my way? So there is a supply drop. I am kind of curious, though. What... What might be out here? I'm just gonna take a look. That's a long drop there. Okay. And we do have... Do you have... Oops, turn my flashlight on. I do have a sign right here. Okay, thoroughfare. And we have a supply drop. Now, I wonder... If... The supply drop... Would have anything that I could use. So, one... Two... Three... Four. Open it up. Let's see. Oh, that's interesting. It's it's empty. That's weird. Thought there might have been something inside. Is there anything else to see around here? Whew, those are that's really steep. Okay. Okay. Uh the garbage collectors are in my front yard right now, so sorry if you hear them. I will try to edit out that noise, but uh I'm not going to be angry. I'm not going to be bitter. They're collecting garbage. They're doing their job. And I thank them for it. So... I don't suppose this is the right way to go. Ah, uh, we got more signs. Okay. We probably just want to keep going this way down to Jonesy Lake. So we will follow this little path. And this is going to be something here. We're just going to balance. And there is something to report right here. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Oh, that's true. Took it. Do you have anything useful? Okay, so we do have a camera. Good. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Ex-lover. Mm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Oh, that's just... I'm kidding. That's just gross. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Ah. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna miss this conversation. Didn't really want to, though. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Uh, there's so many things going on all at once. I wanted to respond to that message, but I was kind of, like, in the middle of something. Let's start with the note. Uh, actually... Where are these guys Ron and well, Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was... Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? 
No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Braun. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for lookouts. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that... Having himself in that ham hammock? Starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course, we're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. That guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know him that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Okay, so there's a little bit of communication going on. Now what's this all about? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Well, maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Maybe. I don't think I can keep it, though, honestly. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. There's Photodome. Okay, this is more of the map that's put together. So we do have the Polaroid camera. We could take some pictures, so, you know, pretty neat picture. Um, but for the time being, I think, um, let's save it for when we actually really need it. There is a column of smoke. Yeah, I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Okay. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Well, this is already some bad news. Look at these trees. Clearly, there's been something. Uh, there was a fire or something around here. That's not good. So, uh, yeah, we'll we'll keep going into the direction of that plume of smoke. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it, and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Oh, what do I, I do? I mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, mm. she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. Whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. Call me crazy, but I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. I'm actually married. But you're here. Um, interesting. Let's try this. Sick. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Yeah, I don't know. Do I be honest? Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. And I did, oh, and I did. Cable. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a bit of a complicated situation going on here. But I am still married. My wife is sick, but I am still married. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, yeah. next time you're at a bar 
and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Yeah, okay. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! Okay, well, that's another thing I can add to my uh, vocabulary. Flapjack. I just thought a flapjack was just a, you know, just a pancake of sorts, but turns out you can use it as an insult, so fair enough. I, I hope I'm... Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Here we go. Now we're really getting somewhere. It's hard for me to believe that I actually traveled this far. I wonder what the medicine wheel is. But the game auto-saved, so I feel like I have to be pretty dang close to my destination here. The thin column of smoke is this way, so I think we are... We're getting there. I like the music that's playing. It's very nice. Very relaxing. So let's see what's about to happen here. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know why they think they can hide, to be honest. I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday. You ready to give it another shot? Do Heck I yeah. seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's I have no choice. I mean, I have a good rope now, so it's fine. Alright. Now we're heading towards that smoke. Soon. Let's go over this way. I wonder, do I need to... Do I need to go there, or can I just go this way? Uh, maybe I can't. Or maybe I can. I don't know. Let's take a look at the map again. Yeah, so I kind of remember this. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. Oh, man. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Well, we didn't really understand what was happening. You don't get Alzheimer's in your late 30s. No kidding. But even then, we didn't really Not usually, get it no. until she couldn't work anymore and I couldn't leave her alone. It wasn't until then that I said, oh, this is it. This is over. That was hard. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. Yep, I yep, walked over true enough. I walked over and asked her what her major was, because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. A prof. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't really say much, but I can see that we've really kind of made a whole day of this adventure. These are just some beautiful pictures. I love it. Good screen savers for your desktop. And look at this now. We have found another supply cash it's poor security let's open up all right so we got a, another pine cone not much to really go through with that uh, it doesn't appear to be much of anything else, but we do have some more map information, so let's cover that. Okay. 
Now we can take a look at this uh, flyer and read it. Looks like a missing person. Mitch Michaels, age 31. Okay. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. His last known location. Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1981. His vehicle was a 1972 Ford F-250 blue and white Montana license. If you have seen or contacted him or have more info, please contact Shoshone National Forest Dispatch. So we got ourselves a missing person report, which is kind of suspect. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Hmm. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. Oh, I nice. I just had a hard time talking to That's him. That's so cool. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. And I'm the former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. Oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! That's interesting. Um, PTSD. So, isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. Wow, it's so bright here. Yeah. So Beautiful. you mentioned something about Ned Goodwin having PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next to kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Okay. When you hear the music, you know you're on the right path. Getting to something, getting to something serious. Although I'm not heading toward the campfire. So I, I, I think we kind of need to, we need to kind of follow the river then. So let's what do are you that. Gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to mm. Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. I uh, sorry for the umpteen. Probably. Time. Uh maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister Susan is great. Yeah. But her parents. I uh I think they always thought she could do better, and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. I don't want to interrupt the conversation, but, uh, yeah. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. And we also have the waterfall too. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given it's those a girls nice love skinny sound. That they're nearby. Okay. So let's just refer to the map once more. Am I in? Okay, I'm probably going the right direction then. So as you all have seen, there's some history going on here. Looks like we got ourselves a campfire. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. 
What a job this is. Indeed. Those are my sheets. Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Yep. Looks like teen zone. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Dangerous hunks. Come on. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. So now we've come upon the tent, and there's actually a note I would like to read. Let's read it. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving. We're gonna find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake. And then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is a gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer. And are so going to jail. Hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Well. How polite. Gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone... Me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? They're telling the police. They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? Uh, I destroyed their stereo well, for sure. Do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I yeah, didn't. Yeah, I, I didn't do anything wrong. On the lake. Yeah. This well, is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They mm -hmm, could be having mm -hmm. a bad mushroom trip, and we really don't know. But they're we gone. We really don't know. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. If you thought, if you thought this was gonna be a quiet summer. Oh man, you are sorely mistaken. What a strange, what a strange mystery that we have on our hands. There's something to this place that is both comforting and weird at the same time. So my next mission is to patch up the window. I appreciate that. Um, I'm actually gonna stop it here though, because this has been a very it's been a very long yeah. episode. Um, so what do you look like? Why are you kidding me? Because I'm horribly superficial. Um Burnt well, Reynolds, I, I guess. For Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Yeah. You asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. Scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. Yeah, that's pretty it's much me. Hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. Clothes? I don't Clothes. really think about really it. Think about it. Come on. I don't have a sense of style. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know. I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh. Hmm. Um, thick beard. A pretty thick beard. Yeah. Oh. Have you always had a beard? Sure. Oh, wow. yeah. All right. Perfect. What do you mean, perfect? Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're She's what? drawing me. Is, is that okay? Uh, it's not okay. Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Don't draw me Fine. without Your my eyes. consent. They're, uh, they're steely. Cold, hard stare. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. That's totally me. Uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. This is taking a strange turn. Okay, so I think the conversation is over. 
Um, I'm gonna stop it here. I meant to stop it sooner, but things just kept happening. So, just want to say thank you all for watching, and hopefully I will continue this adventure. It's been very interesting and very intriguing, and it's one of my favorite games so far. So, um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.